Here we're going to talk about lowest terms, sometimes also called simplest form or reduced form. And where this is going to come into play is when you're doing a problem on the test that involves fractions and you go through, you do all the math, and you get to your final answer and it's in a fractional form. But when you look at the choices, your choice isn't one of the answers. You may have the problem correct, but you just haven't put the fraction in lowest terms. And so we're going to talk about how to do that. So, for example, if you have a fraction, 2 sixth. What lowest terms means is that the numerator and the denominator, they cannot be divided evenly by the same number. When that happens, you are in lowest terms. But here, we see our numerator is 2, our denominator is 6, and so both of those numbers can be divided by the number 2. So if we divide this by 2 and divide the denominator by 2, oops, divide by 2, divide by 2, what we get is 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 2 sixths in lowest terms is 1 third because now you see that you have 1 and 3 those numbers cannot be divided by the same number evenly aside from 1 and 1 doesn't count so this fraction is in lowest terms now what is this really saying because we're saying you know 2 sixths is equal to 1 third let's say we had a pi and we're going to divide it into six parts. So we're looking at this fraction, 2 sixths. We have six parts, and for this problem, we're going to color in 2 sixths of them. So two of the six pieces of the pie are colored in. So here we have 2 sixths represented in this drawing. Now let's take these lines out. So now we only have three pieces of the pie, and one of them is colored in. So now it's one-third. So two-sixth is really the same as one-third, right? We didn't color in any more uh, spots on the pie, so two-sixth when we put it in simplest form or in lowest terms, it came down to one out of three or one third. And so that's really what we're doing here is just taking fractions, getting them into uh, kind of the lowest numbers that we can, but these are actually equal. Two sixths is the same thing as, two th as one third as shown here. So if we take a fraction like 24 36 So we we need to know okay well what number will be divided into both 24 and 36 evenly If you don't know how to do that you'll want to watch the video on divisibility so you can more readily uh, know what numbers will divide evenly into other numbers So you should know that you know, 24 and 36 can both be divided by 2. So we're going to divide by 2. So both the numerator and the denominator, we have to divide by the same number. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. So now we look at this fraction. Is this in lowest terms? Or can we divide something into both of these numbers evenly? Well, for 12 and 18, we can divide both of those by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So now we have 6 ninths. Is that in lowest terms? Well, we look at 6 and we look at 9. That can Both of those numbers can be divided by 3. Six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. So now we're at two-thirds. Is that in lowest terms? 
There's no number that you can divide both into two and into three evenly. So this is the answer. So your answer in lowest terms is two thirds. 24 36 is the same as two thirds. Two thirds is just in lowest terms. So if you drew a pie, divided it up into 36 pieces and colored in 24 of them, and then relate, uh, erased all but so it was in, in three pieces, you'd have two of those covered. But there's lots of numbers you can, you can um, choose to divide, to divide into initially. So let's say, so there's lots of ways to do this is what I, the point I want to make to you. Let's say instead of 2, you recognize, hey, I can divide both 24 and 36 by 4. Okay, so divide by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Is that in lowest terms? No, because we can divide both 6 and 9 by 3. Two thirds. So again, we got two thirds. We got the same answer, even though we started out by dividing by a different number. Let's say 24 over 36. Let's say right away you say, hey, both of those can be divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 36 divided by 6 is 6. Is that in lowest terms? Well, no, because both of them can be divided by 2. And we get 2 thirds. Again, same answer. We took different routes, so there's really no one way to do this. Whatever occurs to you first, just keep going until you get to lowest terms. Now, the fastest way would be if you look at these two numbers and you say, you know what, both of those can be divided by 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2, 36 divided by 2 by 12 is 3. So if we recognize, you know, a higher number, we get there quicker. But it really doesn't matter. However you get there, you just need to get there. And so keep keep working until you get to the fraction that is in lowest terms. We'll just do one more since we've been doing a lot of uh, even numbers. I just want to show one more. Let's say we had 15 eightieths. And we say, okay, well what number will divide into both of these? Not 2 because 2 doesn't go into 15. So we can say, how about 3? Well, 3 doesn't go into 80. Again, this is where you want to watch the divisibility video so that you can more readily know what number is going to go into both of these. So when you watch that video, you know that 5 will go into any number that ends in a 5 or a 0. So we'll divide by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 80 divided by 5 is 16. So now we have 3 sixteenths. Is there any number that will, you can divide by 3 and can divide into 16? No, there's not. So this is the final answer. This is in lowest terms. Even this, though this seems like a big number, 16, this is still in lowest terms because there's no number that will divide evenly into both 3 and 16.